Triol TM01, installation of the surface card and the flexible high voltage choke. We'd like to present the Triol Downhole Measuring System TM01. The system is intended for collecting, processing, displaying, and transmitting the parameters of an electric submersible pump installation. Helps to protect the motor and power cable from overheating. Prevents pump stalling due to low dynamic level. Reduces the percentage of equipment failures. Optimizes the operation of the electric submersible pump installation. We are confident that Triol TM01 will allow you to maximize well production. We present the surface card. The unit is made in a plastic case, keeping its weight to a minimum. Has wired communication interfaces, RS-485, RS-232, and wireless local area network, Wi-Fi. Has two discrete outputs. Provides storage of DMS data for more than 30 days. The ground unit is an elegant solution for complex tasks. With data updates every 28 seconds, Triol TM01 protects your equipment. The ground unit operates in combination with a high voltage choke. In this video guide, we will show you how to professionally install the surface part of TM01, the surface card in the flexible high voltage choke. Mounting of the surface units is carried out in six steps, following the operation manuals. You can download the electronic version of the operation manuals on our website by clicking on the link or by scanning the QR code in the technical passport. To install and unpack the high voltage choke, you will need stationary knife, side cutters, 13 mm spanner for mounting brackets to high voltage choke, either open end or other suitable, 10 mm spanner for mounting the earth wire, slotted screwdriver for installing and clamping the wire in the terminal, Phillips screwdriver for installing the brackets on the surface card. We recommend using special clothing and protective gloves when unpacking. The surface card is packed in a cardboard box, which is enclosed in the wooden container of the TM01 submersible unit. The procedure for unpacking the surface card is as follows. Unscrew the eight self-tapping screws that fix the telemetry group container cover. Remove the cover. Take out the cardboard box with the surface card laid inside. Cut the shipping tape of the surface card packaging, which serves as additional protection in case the main packaging is damaged. Open the box. Get your registration certificate. Take out the silica gel desiccate material from the package and take out the surface card itself. Then take out the installation kit packed in a sealed bag. The high voltage choke is packed in a wooden container intended for sea transportation. The procedure for unpacking the high voltage reactor is as follows. Unscrew the top cover with a screwdriver. Take out the registration certificate for your choke, then take out the mounting kit. Remove the sealing material from the packaging. Take the HV reactor out of the packaging. Cut the shipping film and paper. Remove the high voltage choke. You have the option of choosing an HV reactor in a metal housing with an IP56 enclosure or a plastic one with an IP65 enclosure. Later in this video, we will demonstrate the installation and connection of a high voltage choke in a metal case. The delivery set of the high voltage choke includes a set of pressure seals, brackets for mounting the HV choke, two keys for unlocking the door, ground wire five meters long, a spare fuse wrapped in bubble wrap. Wire for connection to the surface card. A fuse is installed inside the high voltage choke. You may need it included in the kit in case the first one burns out. 
the delivery set of the Surface Card includes fasteners for installing the unit on a DIN rail, as well as screws for installing it. Wires for connection to the automatic control system via wired communication interfaces RS-485, RS-232. Wires of discrete outputs, discrete input, output 1 and discrete input, output 2. Power wire, 0 volts and plus 24 volts. Now we've looked at the delivery set. Let's proceed directly to installation. Step 1. Connect the power wires to the high voltage choke. Open the door of the high voltage choke with a key. Remove the phase wires from the housing and lay them on the side of the choke. Then press out the plugs from the holes intended for the installation of the cable glands. Replace the holes with the sealed glands included in the kit. The sealed glands are installed without the use of additional tools. Before pulling the phase wires into the sealed leads, they must be removed from the package and the tie removed with side cutters. Perform this operation for all subsequent wires. Pass the phase wires R, S, T through the sealed glands, as well as the wire for connecting to the ground unit. Unscrew the grounding bolt and install the grounding wire. Tighten. Connect the submersible block power wire to the terminal connector in the high voltage choke. Connect the positive contact to plus 100 volts the earthing contact to the earthing terminal. Check that the wires are firmly fixed. At this point, the connection to the high voltage choke is complete. Now you need to prepare it for installation on site. Close the high voltage choke door and turn it over on its side. Step 2. Install the brackets on the HV choke. At the back you can see two places provided for the installation of brackets. Unscrew the bolts. Do not put them too far away. They will still be useful to you. Screw the brackets to the HV choke using the hardware you just removed, namely the M8 bolt, washer and spring washer. After installing the brackets, the HV reactor is ready for further connection to your installation, namely the step-up transformer. But for now, we will stop there and move on to preparing the installation of the surface card. Step 3. Install the brackets on the DIN rail surface card. Screw the plastic brackets from the surface card mounting kit to the surface card. Use a Phillips screwdriver. After the completed steps, we proceed to connecting ground telemetry equipment to your installation. Go to the transformer. Step 4. Connect the HV reactor to the transformer. Determine the installation location of the HV reactor at a convenient location on or near the transformer wall. In this video, we will install it on the side of the transformer. Connect the ground wire. Connect the free end of the yellow-green wire to the terminal of the grounding point and tighten it firmly. Grounding is complete. Proceed to connect the HV reactor to the secondary winding of the transformer. Pass the free ends of the phase wires, R, S, T, through the transformer sealed glands. Crimp the phase wires, R, S, T, of the high voltage choke with lugs matched to the diameter of the holes of the output terminals of the secondary winding of the transformer. Thread the phase wires, R, S, T onto the transformer secondary output terminals, R, S, T, and tighten the nuts on the terminals. The high voltage choke is ready for operation. Moving on to the installation of the surface card. Step 5. Install and connect the TM01 surface card to the VSD. For your safety, Disconnect the power from the control station and then connect the TM01 surface card. Connect the 24 volt surface card power leads to the appropriate terminal connectors inside the VSD. The surface card draws approximately 50 watts, 0.07 horsepower, 
so the 24 volt supply to the VSD must be of adequate power. Make sure the crimped wire is securely fixed to the terminal unit. Take a 2 pin connector. Fix the free end of the 24 volt ground unit power cable in the connector according to the marking. A detailed printout of connection connectors can be found in the instruction manual or on a sticker near the surface card connectors. Pass the wire from the HV choke through the pressure seal in the VSD. For this wire, it is recommended to use a 9mm sealed gland. Tighten the gland until it stops to comply with the tightness conditions. Insert the free ends of the wire from the HV choke into the 3 pin connector. Connect the communication interface wires to the appropriate terminal blocks. In this case, we are using RS-485. RS-232 can also be used. Insert the free end of the RS-485 communication wire into the 8-pin connector. Connect all three connectors to the corresponding sockets of the surface card according to the marking and install the surface card on the DIN rail in the control station. Apply power to the control station and the service card will turn itself on. Within 25 seconds, the first data will be received from the TM01 submersible unit. The first data has been received. You can proceed to setting up the connection of TM01 to the control station. Step 6. Configure communication between the TM01 surface card and the control station controller. To organize communication between your control station and the TRIOL TM01 surface card, you need to configure the communication protocol using the address map of the TM01 surface card corresponding to the Modbus communication protocol. In this video, for example, we will configure the connection between TM01 and the controller of the TRIOL AK06 UMKA03 control station. Your controller's menu and interface may differ. In the UMKA03 menu, Select Submersible Downhole System, then DME Settings, and select the Transfer Protocol. At the same time, if you want to receive data to the UMKA03 controller of the TRIO control station in Imperial Units, then you need to set metric units to the TM01 surface card. Attention! This applies only to UMKA03. Specify the baud rate is 19,200 kilobytes and the address is 68. Select the Auto Update option from the menu and select Yes. Press the Enter key on the UMKA03. The UMKA03 controller will receive the parameters from the TM01 surface card, which you can see by scrolling down the menu below. Please note that a value of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, means that in the current version of your immersion sensor, TM01-10, 11, 18, 20, there is no fluid temperature sensor at the pump outlet. Likewise, for the same models, the value for the pressure sensor at the pump outlet is 9427.1 psi, 65.535 megapascals. Your TRIO TM01 is ready for use. Until next time. Work with TRIO. Sell knowledge.